Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show 267. We're Two, back at you again. Six, we got seven. a different group of faces going on here. Yeah, What's it's a whole happening? new crew. It's a whole new, well, I mean, LB's here, you're here, it's Tashi. True. But we got a whole bunch of stuff. It's a going marginally on. new crew. It's a <laughs> it's a half of a new crew. It's half of a new crew, Chachi, of course, gracing the couch, sucking like, in, relaxing. I like the new crew. Yes. Better than the old crew. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> all right. The all angry right. one's not here. The <laughs> miner's not here. Nope. No, he isn't. He's uh, a, he's back home. I've Corpus insulted Christi. our new guest in two ways. <laughs> <laughs> Some good stuff. Guess which two? Uh huh. We'll get to that. But coming uh, straight out of Valhalla. Oh, we're not doing that this week. No. Uh, DJ Lunchbox, thoughtfulride.com. How you doing? I am not Thor this week, but I am DJ Lunchbox. Uh, What's up, hot dog? Still, oddly enough, the god of thunder. Um, I am rocking the playoff beard this week. Um, still supporting the pens, even though I'm not holding my breath. Yeah. Um, yeah but I am yeah. holding my dong, can we, which is can we just rock not talk about solid that? Yeah, for the Wrestling Mayhem show this week. And then also with us this week, uh, Cyber Batman. No, wait, he turned it off. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Bobby F. J. Town. Bobby F. Pittsburgh. I what ruined it. What are you oh, this oh. week? I don't even know, sir. I, I, I guess you. it only lasts a little bit. Oh. But, uh, oh. I was going to go like, Yamo Sinkara. Me gusta wrestle mayhem show. <laughs> wow, just stop. Oh, nice. well <laughs> just stop. And with us, the Hot Wheels. How you doing? Hey, hey, I'm doing great. I'm back and I'm leading your way. There you go. Watch out for sirens. He's on fire over there. Sorry, um, sorry, I insulted you. <laughs> Too twice. Oh, it's okay, George. It's I still love you, man. Twice. I'm saying, we, you know, we should throw out here. Hot Wheels is on here because he's got some merch to sling at you right now. Uh, do oh we yes. Want to get into this now. Uh, it's like Craigslist, it, it's but uh, yeah, you know, yeah. less pedophiles. Uh, <laughs> debatable. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> Wheels, Wheels, you are getting rid of this. Hold on, let me. I didn't get into my account to get it, but explain what's happening here. Well, right now, I got a brand new scooter, and it uh, it's much better than the older one. I'm not saying the old one's uh bad because you guys love it. It's the greatest cripple cart in the world. It is, and and, and it's red. It has a shiny blue light that flashes for me when I was a fireman. Sorg remembers it from Base Brawl a few years back. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, I'm getting rid of it because the new one's here and the old one's going to start collecting dust, even though it's got new batteries, new lights, all kinds of bells and whistles on it. So yeah, I'm getting rid of it. No siren? No siren, yet. There it is. This could be yours. This one of a kind Hot Wheels used cripple cart. Um, but uh, yeah, you have it up on eBay and everything. Where can people get at you for that? Uh, they can get me, get at me on eBay, and uh, they can also get me at uh, Facebook also. And maybe down the road, I might do Craigslist if the creepy people stay away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have to offer imitation crab meat with the- yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> freezers full of imitation crab meat. You just got too much. We'll fill the basket. That stuff is great, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Of course, if you stumble upon this, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, you can find out more about us over at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, you got a very special tweet tonight about this show. Uh, if you were on there, uh, at Mayhem Show for that. Uh, and of course, you can contact us right here at Good Times. Good Times! At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We love the emails. Also, 412-206-WMS0. That's 9670. If you want to get a hold of us there, uh, please look for our show on WrestlingMayhemShow.blip.tv on MediaFly.com, YouTube.com, uh, slash Wrestling Mayhem Show or Sorgatron Mia. Just search for Wrestling Mayhem Show on any of those surfaces. We'll come up. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Leave some comments on all that stuff. We love hearing 
all everything going on out there. Uh, also, uh, please check out our iPhone app. For these devices, for your Android device, the Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold, you can get exclusive content that we record before, middle, and after uh, the shows every week that we do not release anywhere else at this point. Uh, so you're exclusive there. There it is on the Android app. <laughs> hey, you guys got it there? Oh, wait, we'll, we'll pull it out. This is the first I've seen it on the Android. There he is. Excellent. On your Cricket Android phone. Uh, oh, it's yep. got a different load bar and everything. Look at that. That's special. Um, <laughs> that's <laughs> you got, you got uh, the audio that's version good, of the show. It's going to be on there. Uh, quick links to our Twitter and uh, all those points of contact. The uh, the hotline straight from there. The uh, uh, What else did I talk about? The Twitter, the, uh, the, the, the email address. Uh, so get that one step, step access to everything Wrestling Mayhem. Um, and, of course, let's see. If you want to be a guest crew member like these gentlemen here that's how they got started uh also contact us there at good times wrestling mayhem show.com we're always looking for different faces we want to get a lot of people's opinions and and personalities in on this show and that's how we do it there and if you're also selling a couple cart let us know um and uh stickers hey guys we have stickers that was the other point of interest. Stickers. Stickers. Hey, everybody Stickers. loves a good sticker. I was I wasn't sure exactly how to do this. Should I just have them email me for my address, or should I just put it out there? Mm, no. We'll email. 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 Yes. Email. Put it out there. <laughs> have some I, balls. If you want stickers, uh, you need to send a self-addressed stamped envelope and hit contact us good times at <laughs> wrestlingmayhemshow.com. We'll share you share you the information uh, to get those stickers, and we'll get them right out to you. We have. A lot of them. A lot. A lot of them. A lot. So, uh, please let us know. We'll get you stickers and take pictures of the stickers where you've stuck them. You know, yes. have some fun with them. I got a picture I put Do on my it. Twitter earlier. I'll see if I can find it real quick. Uh, of Do Gam- it. Gambit holding the sticker. Do it. They stuck it on the wall at work. Do it. Like behind the line, there's this big show sticker. Do it. Uh, no, it. Okay. Okay. Do it. On that note, what sticker uh, away on Gitclue from getting stickers mailed to me. Do it. There you go. Yeah, we're on Gekalu. Well, we're not on Gekalu, but I know Chachi and I are. You on fucking Gekalu. should be. So, um, so let's get right into it. Uh, I guess only three of us have the. Family. Ahem. Ahem. <laughs> okay. Okay. LB wants it. I am kicking this shit off properly. No way. I have to start. It always starts with me. Well, it's because I don't. I haven't been reading them. Who, Who are, are you starting with? Is the question. Riz. All right. That's fine. Yeah, I am the official voice of Riz. You are the voice of Riz. That's fine. And I quote... (laughs) (laughs) WMS. That's us. This past Wednesday, I ventured off into the wild frontier that is Penn State, New Kensington, to attend my first... Oh... I'm done with this already. What oh, the hell? It's oh, no, no. <laughs> blah blah blah. Uh, for those that missed no, it last no, week, uh, no. For the, wait, wait, wait. For those that missed it last week, uh, Chachi is pretty, pretty much forsaken all <laughs> indie wrestling and anything else that isn't flashy WWE TV. Uh, is that a good summation of that? Yes. Okay. Move, carry okay. on. Um, attend my first IWC event in a long, long time. How long? I don't even remember when the last time I went to a show was. Anyways. <laughs> I always like going to these places to see who, in fact, shows up and what kind of antics people get into down there in the boonies. (laughs) So here are the top five non-wrestling-related things that I picked up on. Number five, crisscross equal awesome. Green Ranger equal awesome. Green Ranger plus crisscross equal head explosion awesome. Number four, if you have to tie your shoe, you have to walk in front of a wom- of women to do so. There's a, <laughs> there's a story behind this. Muscular dude gets up from his chair, walks over to the table where there are three women sitting at, bends over to tie his shoe, comes up, flexes, and goes right back to sitting down at his chair, thinking that nobody noticed what he just did. Classic. (laughs) Number three. Little kids are awesome at these types of shows. This one boy at the end of the show began dancing to the entrance music of the wrestlers. Then, when he saw this little girl looking at him, he put on a face that can only be described as a pimp face. (laughs) 
Number two, you better fucking wave at Mayhem Missy or she will put you in timeout. Yes, she will. Number one, question slash quote of the night. Do you think her boobs are sweaty under that plastic top? <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. I'm R. Always flexing my <laughs> muscles for the ladies, Riz. Excellent, excellent. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I did. I, I heard one David Demira had had a win over Chess Flexor. He doesn't win. He doesn't win. <laughs> no. That doesn't happen, obviously. I now LB, you have the next one. Um, yes, sir. I, and again, it's, it's a very special one. I will put it up because uh, it's he's always put so much into the visual stylings of these voicemails. They are. Uh, I mean, whatever. What is up, Wrestling Mayhem crew? Back again for the eleventh time. It's the greatest brother in the WMS universe. What I love best about the show is that even though I headline the fan mail, there are others that can fill in when the wolf wants to play Dragon Age 2 and watch the NBA playoffs instead of emailing. By the way, fuck Vince McMahon. Monday Night Raw was okay at best. The highlight of the night was Ron the Truth Killings. Our truth was so fucking gold. My ninja truth... (laughs) <laughs> so it's in all caps he puts it in all caps <laughs> came out and told the motherfucking truth fuck the fans listening to those jive ass turkeys made him into bojangles <laughs> welcome to duck side you purple ninja <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love these emails uh, now on to Vinnie Mac. The reason McMahon has pissed me off once again, he shits on the face of all WWE fans. The WWE Universe, WWE Superstars, and Sports Entertainment was a bit weird. But banning wrestling is somewhere between jackass and un fucking believable. It makes no sense. Your company produces wrestling and hires wrestlers to wrestle in a wrestling ring. You're trying to get your company over because wrestling does have a negative connotation to those on the outside. But let's face it, Vince, the people that you are trying to convert hate wrestling no matter what you call it. Vince should care more about his prosperous wrestling company by hiring the right wrestlers for your wrestling shows, Writers. listening to your fans <laughs> more often, and push your younger, t- young, talented, and or popular stars. Your wrestling company would get accepted by its popularity alone. Trust me, it has been one over and over. Right now, Vince, you sound like the Founding Fathers, signing resolutions of independency with one hand, and the other one brandishing a whip over his frightened slaves. Whoa! No, No. that's what it says. Holy crap. Yeah, that's what it says. No lie. Tomorrow, the heat eliminates the Sixers on my birthday. Shoutouts to Chachi, Lunchbox, Mike Sorg, Riz, and Hot Wheels. Is it just me, or does WrestleFan look like Johnny Quest and or Stan (laughs) from South Park? (laughs) I would just like to point out that I was first. (laughs) <laughs> I, I also want to point. I like, but that. he saved the best for last. It's, it messed with me because I didn't see a comment between Mike and Sorg, so I'm like, why do you put my first name? Oh, and yeah, and for point. and for those of you who didn't uh, or don't get the email, he attached uh, r Truth's new theme music, yeah. which is straight out of Compton by the NWA. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. When something happens in South Central Los Angeles. There you go. We should just play that over the rest of the show. <laughs> you should. Um, I agree. Excellent. Make it hot. Or it's my ninjas. That's uh and for those that haven't seen before, uh that's uh uh Wolf's Thoughts The Wolf's Thoughts on Failure, Volume Eleven is the title yeah. of that. Which big fan of the wolf. I'm a big fan of the wolf. Yes. Uh thank you. And I hope he appreciates that I don't read his emails verbatim. <laughs> I really hope he appreciates That's why he started putting that word in caps. Yes. Um, it's really just oh, I'm one sorry. word. Unless he sends me an email that specifically says, Say it, Lunchbox! Say it! <laughs> and signed, I want written permission before I say that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. It's fuck the police. I thought it was fuck the police, yeah. 
I don't I'm know. Just, hungry, like, they just wolf. labeled NWA.mp3. Well, I so, got to yeah. straight yeah. out of the Compton, and yeah. I was at work, so I shut it off. Oh, gotcha. So not work. Safe. <laughs> Definitely. All not right. Of course, safe. you know, Mad Mike not here tonight. You know, uh, but he did uh, submit as uh, as we first were introduced to him, the Mad Mike Mail. Uh, so dashing Mad Mike Mail, is it drafty in here? Edition. Howdy, hey, mem- <laughs> Look at what he did there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Howdy, hey, mayhemers. It is once again the dashingest of Mad Mikes in your email boxes because I am attending Hogwarts tonight, or at least a reasonable facsimile. Uh, but since with all the hatred of <laughs> TNA and our smoke, we forgot to discuss draft picks. So I am sending this email before Raw to register my prediction on how the draft may go. So feel free to rate my draft. Okay. Actually, he did pretty decent. Uh, <laughs> is this the one that I got pegged? That it, yeah, I think this is the one I got the DM that he did, he got like four out of the six. Uh, he threw John Cena. Uh, if they want to beef up SmackDown, and I hope they do, this is certainly a way to do that. Oh, wouldn't it have been, guys? Uh, <laughs> Cena would jack up the ratings for the blue brand and give him exposure uh, to some of the people he hasn't had matches with yet. Note: Don't expect this to happen in a million years, but it'd be. <laughs> Fun way to shake things up. Uh, yeah. And for those that maybe didn't catch Raw, that's kind of what happened for about 45 minutes. Mm. Well, an hour and 45 minutes. Um, he got drafted to SmackDown, competed a match for SmackDown, and got drafted back. So, Sin Cara, who did move to SmackDown, by the way. Uh, now this, this one is a little more likely, as we all know, SmackDown loves all the Mexican demographic. Hmm. I might Mexicans. be racist. Uh, and plus, his madness <laughs> can be cleaned up a little bit knowing it isn't a live show. Also, Ray and maybe Del Rio could help teach him some English. <laughs> they both went to Raw. Uh, <laughs> he should just avoid the jump rope. Uh, avoid the jump roping Rosa Mendez. Uh, number three, Husky Harris, who wasn't on the radar last night. Uh, I think he's still in a coma. Uh, yes, he technically mm. still is on a raw, a raw superstar. I think this gimmick change uh, he has an FCW would just be a setback. Him coming on SmackDown uh, to maybe start a resistance against the core would be a cool idea, assuming the core still stays together. I'm really surprised both core and NXT stayed together, by the way. Mm. Um, Actually, Husky Harris did go back to FCW. He's wrestling under like a mulligan name or something. Mulligan name? <laughs> mulligan, mulligan or Blackjack or some, oh, wow. you know. Wow. Comic shit that they do. Uh, conversely, have them join up with Big Zeke to go against their new tag team champions. That'd be a lot of fun. That that, that would be a fun team to see, probably. Uh, <laughs> Eve, SmackDown Davis needs some life breathed into them. There was a lot of Divas going back and forth, I noticed. Um, <laughs> whoa. As per usual. Yes. Oh, well, did uh, I say that? Arch, it, what did I say when I saw Kelly Kelly going over? Like, well, you know, they need some new tits on Raw. Uh, so... Uh, our truth number five, new gimmick change right before the draft generally means a change in scenery. And on SmackDown, truth can flourish as a heel, especially in a program with someone like Ray, who seems to be keen on helping some guys out. Well, you're halfway there. Zach motherfucking Ryder. Yeah, where the fuck was he, guys? Oh, this man could be one of the most over guys in the roster if they actually put him on TV. And since SmackDown seems to have the show where they uh, test out a lot of their younger stars, Ryder is perfect. Hell, he can. He can even get the, go there and have his gimmick be uh, trying to fill the shoes of Edge. You know, a side note from that, did anybody notice Kurt Hawkins got drafted to Raw? Yeah. Yep. So the Edge heads mm. are back together uh, on the same show, so I wonder. And at least at least they put Zack Ryder in the front row of the crowd that wasn't backstage for Raw. Yeah. Like, he was up front. You could see him. Mm-hmm. But and they, and they weren't know. confiscating the signs anymore for him. Because oh. I know he made a mention that the Woo Woo sign was on like at least half the show. Uh, six moves from SmackDown the Raw goes uh, Drew McIntyre, bottom, which did move. Uh, bottom line, Drew has bottomed out on SmackDown. His gimmick is stale as his haircut. However, uh, <laughs> maybe a live atmosphere and a new outlook as a character could change that. Yeah, I watched SmackDown. It, they were just like the whole match was th- them saying how, yeah, he was out of WrestleMania and really, you know, has been out of the loop. He moved today, didn't he, Drew? Um, Back. yes, I think so. He, it was, yeah, it was, was um, uh, it was today's draft. Yeah. Uh, number two, Cody Rhodes. Note, I do not want this to happen. Cody's new gimmick is getting very over on SmackDown, and he has, uh, been given a great chance to shine. And I, I've been watching this guy lately. Have anybody noticed the, the kind of growling 
voice he's using now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> I'm a big fan of the gimmick. Of, uh, like overall, it. yeah, I think it's really interesting. But, it was kind of frightening. I'm sitting there going, um, that voice is way different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's doing, he thinks he's Batman. He thinks he's Batman. <laughs> uh, Batman. Uh, three, Beth Phoenix, uh, with the impeding coming of Karma, Ra will need a big face who can match up with her. And Beth fits this like a glove. Now, is she gonna be a face? Karma Awesome Kong, of course. Uh, is she, you think she's gonna be in a face in the, God. Or is she gonna be against like the Lake Hole type of characters? And, and somebody suggested Melina kind of resembled the doll she, she split apart the one time, you know? So, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess it depends. Uh, I don't know because the la- last night's doll was kind of a Lake Hole. Michelle McCool looking type doll. Okay, okay. I don't know. I think that fucking dumbass Divas title can be defended anywhere, so. It can. I think she's going after all the bitches. Yeah. And I can't wait. <laughs> Tramp Stamp uh, Championship of the World. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> number four. <laughs> Tramp Stamp Championship. I love it. Uh, four, Chavo Grow. No real reason. Uh, then to then unite Chavo and Vicky again. He could use the help. What has he done lately? Uh, five, Jack Swagger, who did move the Raw. I'd love to say that Michael Cole will be drafted to SmackDown, but we know that's more likely scenario is that he will stay on Raw and be extremely excited with his buddy Jack. Somebody pointed out about how uh, he got mad about John Cena leaving, yet he commentates on both shows. So Yeah. Uh, Kelly Kelly, more more fun uh, Kong fodder for Raw. Yeah, and which happened. Um, I hope so. Honorable mentions, my supplemental draft, Teddy Biasi to SmackDown. Uh, yeah. Uh, David Untunga to SmackDown, Tyra Rex to Raw, Hornswoggle to Raw. I think, uh, yeah, Rex and DiBiase happened. I want a quick thoughts about the Extreme Rolls matches. Cage match should be a lot of fun, and I expect Miz to win. Shit, there's a pay per view this weekend. I'd love to see Christian win, but I doubt it. False count anywhere with Cody and Ray will, uh, steal the show. And Last Man Standing with Punk and Orton will be a lot of fun, hopefully, but likely end with a punt. That's all for me, guys. Have a great show. White Alchemist ending transmission. I got the next one. He's got the next one. Go for <laughs> He's it. He's got Kelsey. it. And this <laughs> comes. This comes from Pierre Kelly. No. <laughs> <laughs> to the WMS Nation, there comes a time in every wrestling fan's life in which all the Raw and SmackDown roster changes change places for one year. The 2011 WWE Draft was on, and it fueled the intensity of every wrestler's dream to go to a different show. Tonight was no exception. Joining the bullet train known as Raw was in no particular order. Jack Swagger, a.k.a. Cole Slaw's trainer. Kelly Kelly, a.k.a. Kelly Squared. JTG. (laughs) Kurt Hawkins, The Masterpiece. Kofi. Tyler. The Glamazon. Rey Mysterio Jr., Big Show. And to some, little or no surprise, Alberto Del Rio. But there is some speculation that Christian, who's staying on SmackDown, is going to win the world title at Extreme Rules, but we'll see how that goes this Sunday. And among the Raw, su- the Raw stars joining the party boat known as SmackDown are Brian Danielson, the great Kali. Jimmy Uso, William Regal, I thought he retired, Yoshitatsu, Natalia, Jay Uso, uh, Ted DiBiase, no longer with Maurice as of the supplemental draft, Alex Riley, same as above with The Miz alone, Seamus, Randy Orton, Mark Henry, Sin Cara. I was thinking he lasted longer on Raw. And to shock... Er, to the shock of us all, John Cena. Super Cena? Well, it was actually for one day, because after losing the main event to Miz and his gang, the draft computer had Super Cena back to Raw. We can all finally breathe easily. Now about that draft switch with Cena. What in the name of Magnum TA did WWE <laughs> <laughs> try to lure him back to his old home from his new home? It was like going from Starbucks to Dunkin' Donuts and then back to Starbucks. Perhaps they didn't think it was a perfect fit for Friday Night Crowd, because had John Cena stay on Friday nights, The Miz would be the top star, and finding a good, a top good guy would be hard. But I'm glad they stuck with Cena, and that's a good thing. Now that that's out of the way, 
I'm invited to the birthday party of the man who knew our rules and shut our mouths next week. It's the Rock's birthday party in Miami. Please be invited to it. See you guys later. Pierre K, a.k.a. Mr. Techwood Drive. Excellent. We got one last one here from Big Freaky. Dropping us breaking news from Jacksonville, Florida. I think we had this in the rundown. A little bit indie minute here. The Sheik has defeated Colt Cabana to capture the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Um, hmm. He also has, hey, you guys were talking about Kali. And if he can still go over the top rope a few weeks ago. Well, I couldn't help but notice Kali's elimination in the draft battle royal was the weakest looking I can think of ever. I watched it and thought, man, is that guy scared. <laughs> well, you're that big and can't control your body too well. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's where you There you go. Um, I, well, it you looks know, like a log going over a hill. <laughs> kind of, right? Uh, I mean, he's a spectacle, you know what I mean? And that's what they have him for. And, you know, they had to run with him with the belt to be a... To be, I I don't think they can they can make him look threatening much anymore. So I what the hell? I just realized what's going on back there, Bobby. You're you have a crowd. What up? My audience. <laughs> Your audience. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> That's messed up. That is awesome. That's so he never feels alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Back to the email. I was For those on the <laughs> audio, he's in a in a theater mode in his webcam. Um. <laughs> It's as best as oh, I can do. I, uh, wait, anyways, uh, I, I, I've been uh, thinking about uh, what you guys were saying last week about the Rock and Roll Express versus the Midnight Express. I think the thing is, your views of good and bad are out of context. In the era of Rock and Roll Express, the fans uh, didn't think like us. I, I'm with you. I, what, what were we talking about last week? Like, I, I didn't get it. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. It, it, it's just, um, yeah, it's another era. And, and and looking back on the matches, and I, and I say that with looking back on those matches and looking at these guys, I don't get what the big deal was with the Rock. I, I you know I, I know there's a bunch of people who are going to be huge on uh uh you know uh, both the expresses you know uh but I don't know what do what do you guys think are you are you are, is anybody here a Rock and Roll Express fan you know is anybody here like old NWA I, I liked it back then I mean but. If I had to see him today compared to the guys of today, yeah. I'd be kind of bored. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't have a comparison point, you know, other than what I've seen on, like, the Road Warriors DVD of these guys, you know, and, and, and some other stuff with them. And it's just like, you know, so I, I don't have the in-the-moment knowledge like I do. Like, you know, I, I lived through and watched through Hulkamania, you know. So to me, you know, anybody looking back on a Hulk Hogan DVD is probably like, this is horrible wrestling. But mm -hmm. at the time, as a kid growing up with it, you know, just like people are going to crap on John Cena. Okay, they already are. But to that kid growing up, <laughs> it's like the greatest thing in the world, right? Uh, so I, I don't know. It's uh, it, it's just uh, it, it's not doing it for me. And I'm not saying that they're horrible. They're not legends or anything like that. Uh, I'm just saying it, it doesn't make sense to me, you know, why they're legends, I guess. Um, but there's more to it than I know. So um, let's see. Beyond that, I think n n nothing else snuck in here, right, guys? Uh, I guess nope. that's just LB. Uh, <laughs> since Chachi, I think I think Chachi's on call again. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I didn't nothing. No. Okay. Uh, let's yeah, I mean, see. I don't think you can compare like a Rock and Roll Express of their heyday to say Sorgan. I would know the Pocket Rockets of today. The pocket Rockets. No, or even to like the Hardy Boys of ten years ago, uh, or the Dudley uh. Boys, or anything like that. You know, I mean, that's just. There's no, but but even I'm trying to put it in context of uh you know that era what was in that era uh the Rockers the Hart Foundation the British Bulldogs who also was a big tag team in the mid the mid eighties more um, Legion of Doom yeah, yeah well Legion of Doom who who that that's who I saw them go up against you know so look at it this way the fucking what the hell are they called that guy the Bumblebee team that um, Killer Bees. The Killer Sheik bees, wants yeah. to rape. Right. They were popular yeah. at one point. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you just don't know why things happen. Techno <laughs> Team 2000. Techno, Techno Team 2000 were never popular except in <laughs> my sweet heart. They were on like one episode of Superstars, I think. I know, and I still have. Back in the day, WWF Magazine came with little cards that were perforated and you can cut them out and I still fucking have that. I still have them. 
Mm. <laughs> excellent. It's excellent. worth five cents now. Less um, than that. I do Less have a voicemail that. here. I it, it's long. It's not pre-read. Let's let's see what Freaky has to say here. A little bit. Yeah, I was thinking about Larry Sweeney. May he rest in peace. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, I was thinking about something that needs to be added to the show. Oh, suggestions. You know, nobody, people talked about Larry Sweeney, but it was more intellectual. They just listed what he did. But, I mean, he was a force around the area not that long ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, I decided that I'm going to share some stories about Larry Sweeney in the coming weeks. And you know, if you like it, maybe I'll tell some stories about some other fallen wrestlers. Um, now, I did first see Larry Sweeney in IWC. But the story I'm going to tell is from a little indie company that had potential but just died a slow, painful death called CWE. And on their debut show, they had Larry Sweeney. So for- CWE ran around, uh, I think, the Youngstown Niles area uh, over in eastern Ohio. Yeah, I think you're correct on that because I heard of it too. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of guys that we see in this area and up in the Cleveland area. I ended up there. I think they did a joint show with PWO uh, not too long ago, like late last year, perhaps. So At Mail. And, uh, you know, at one time in, say, 1995, uh, Preston lived up to that. I mean, I think if you took a survey in 1995, and you can ask, like, Norm and Shirley Doe oh, and uh, guys like that from the region, I'm sure they'd say at one time Preston's deal was the man. But by 2007, he just wasn't. I mean, he's in his 40s. All right, and I think we'll, uh, I think this is something we're going to get posted on the site uh, for mm-hmm. those of you know, of course, with Larry Sweeney, and he, and, and and you know, we all can talk about our experiences with him, and you know, what you can see online with him. You know, um, how did we talk? Mention much uh, again? IWC uh, Super Indie 10 coming up in June is going to be a memorial show for him. So I, I, I invite everybody, you know, go check that out. It's uh. I, I think they're doing something with the proceeds. I don't know what the what the final word is. I think they were still figuring it out last I heard. Um, so go check that out at iwcwrestling.com. So um, this is usually the point where we do an indie minute. Um, hey, Bobby, FJ Town. Yes. What's going on in AON? <laughs> um, <laughs> anybody, my AON report my, I guess, this week is very short. Okay. Uh, AON was preempted by a church service this week. What the hell? Nobody was murdered. <laughs> at um, one bit of news, though, one of the AON superstars is working at my local pizza place. Is it Manchild? No, it's not Manchild. I think he works at the grocery store, though. But one of them works at, at a local pizza place. Uh, one of the Hassel brothers, I believe. <laughs> Excellent. So, and and the AON World Heavyweight Champion actually works at Pizza Hut, I believe, too. Because I think I saw him there. I think it was him. I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. That's awesome. That's awesome. I am seriously frightened to picture going into a grocery store and the <laughs> bag boy being man-child. <laughs> you know what? Works in the deli, maybe? He used I... to work with my niece. Ooh, that's even scarier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he yeah. works with children. Wow. Uh, you know, there's a guy that bags down in a local grocery store here. He could be man-child. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. So I think there's a little man child in all of us. Yes. That's and true. Not That's in true. a dirty way. Uh, I don't. Oh. 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 What's oh. up, hot uh, dog? I don't have anything really other than the <laughs> Cole Cabana losing the belt this week, of course, in NWA Hollywood. Uh, that's quick. That is quick for NWA. Yeah, that's yeah. like uh, when Homicide only had the title for a little bit in ROH. I mean, is that one of those, like, they're doing it to get name value for something like that? Like, um, of course, I should have knew something was up because I actually got a press release about that match, uh, in, in recent weeks. And, uh, like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it, cause yeah, the NWA, it feels like they're doing that to get a little bit of name value, say, hey, we're, we're still here, guys. Uh, and then they drop it back to somebody they know is going to be in for the long haul. You know, because I imagine somebody like Cole Cabana is getting all of his gigs around the world and everything. So I, I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. So, but 
on that note, guys, I guess this really was an indie minute. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. That's one thing. My indie minute was a minute. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh. Oh. Take that, Russell fan. Oh. Own up, Russell fan. Get that cookie. Uh, so here's a little bit of the uh, uh, WMS Gold you can get only on your iPhone and Android, and we'll be right back after this. Jesus that was my cell phone Christ, text. Wow, mute that bitch. Intense. Yep, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, did you have it pushed up his hand? <laughs> and... <laughs> I, okay, sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa! I want you to take that phone and chuck it across the room. I, I think <laughs> I think having a seizure or not. That was my Kermit the Frog impression. <laughs> Here, I, I just saw. I'm getting awesome. Pathetically, were to knock if, on your stall door while you're dropping the Cosby kids off of the pool. <laughs> you win double the prize. Not like the extra large container of Baja Blast in his left hand. He's got his terrible Android phone in his right hand. Oh. Some awesome <laughs> oh. Star Wars t shirt. He hasn't shaved in like a lifetime. Uh, you can check us out at awesomecast.com. <laughs> he broke us. <laughs> Welcome back as the Wrestling Mayhem Show with Wheels Bobby, DJ Alvin, and Chachi. <laughs> I feel so bad for the audio listeners. Oh, wow. I, uh, they should tune in. Oh, wow. Um, um wow. Uh, again, if you want to see what the hell just happened, go to this time that you're seeing on your uh, audio. And just go to the YouTube page and just go to it, and there you go. Yeah. Um, you didn't even get to me because we lost it after. No, well, you were like a mile <laughs> away from the camera. I wasn't even worried about it. I was just, why are you flipping me off? Because I can. What's wrong with you, man? Why are you so can. angry? I'm wearing the Chachi Play shirt and everything. $1.99. Look at my dick! Uh, <laughs> uh, well, well guys. The chat. What's that? Nobody looked at my link in the chat. Oh, I, I showed Chachi. Yeah, we saw the, di- the dick shoes. Shoes. <laughs> <I get you. laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, wow. Uh, well, it, I don't know. It was a lackluster week of wrestling, right? Is that what I'm getting out of this week? Yeah, it, I mean, was, it draft. was draft. It was terrible. Nobody got killed this it year. Was. I had more. I had more fun watching Tough Enough than yeah. I did watching Raw. Hundred and ten pound yeah. elephant in the room. What? That's what, what? the episode was called. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, well, let's start with Tough Enough. What were your thoughts on that this week? It was, uh, okay, Rima got, got booted. We yeah. kind of figured that happened. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, Rima got booted. And, and you know what? I don't think she should have. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, did Rima get booted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah she got booted. Not even with the trio or anything. She just got stepped out. You're done. Oh, you know what? I probably watched last week's. What? <laughs> Which did they, they was it show? After Raw? Yeah, it was after Raw. Yeah, they showed last, last week's. Episode. Yeah, I watched oh. last week's. That's I'm um, not well, even. What up did to you date. think about two weeks ago, Chaji? Well, last this week. Was, this is why you're quiet during that yeah. segment. Um. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> so, um, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, what? I don't think if she, if, since you're telling me she was eliminated, mm-hmm. I don't think she should have been. Because no matter what happened in that episode, there are other people that should have been gone. Well, yes, uh, but it should have been gone. I, I think you're, and I think you're going to see. You're, you'll see when you see the next episode. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, once you see this episode, you're going to yes. see why she was eliminated. She she did ask for help, but she didn't seem to be taking it seriously. Right. On the one on one session, she uh, it wasn't getting it. You know. No, I, I mean, understand. It was a good discussion. I, mean, and, I, I wasn't picking you know. her to win at all. No, of course not. I, there was no not. way in hell that she was getting a WWE contract. But I think the more interesting thing is, uh, and we were talking a little about this beforehand, right. we get to see, finally, because these people have kind of been in the shadows since there were 14 people in an hour show, uh, who technically... Uh, look like look like they're the front runners. Right. And now I know you got to pick now. Um, yeah, uh, now that Matt Cross is gone, and I, I'm... I'm still not happy about that, but I completely understand why Matt Cross is gone. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
That was more story than anything, I think. So no, it wasn't story. Oh, well, I mean, it reality was, show story. It was. I it think... was a matter of. Uh, he was clearly the most experienced there. So from the beginning, mm-hmm. you need to step up. Like, all right. I, since I watched last week's episode last night and assumed it was the new one, uh, Luke, who is my new front runner. Um, yeah, I think Luke is one of my picks also, Chach. Uh, he, he got to go one-on-one with Stone Cold. And they had a blast. Mm-hmm. Had Matt Cross stepped up like he was supposed to, that would have been Matt Cross. Yeah, yeah. In yeah, a heartbeat. I agree. Yeah. Stone Cold mm-hmm. and Matt Cross would have been the ones going at it in the ring and having a good time. Because you could tell just by looking at Stone Cold that he was having fun. Like, he even went back into character for that one-on-one session. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and Russell Fan brought up the fact that he's destroying everyone in the fantasy. But, um, considering... <laughs> hey, I'm getting lots of... I don't of know. Notice. I have my three picks right now, and they all survive, so... Um, considering and, and I that keep getting two... extra points for, uh, plugging in the, uh, the code word to get the extra content. <laughs> I get another, like, hundred points or something like that. Uh, so... for the record, I, I set one lineup, mm-hmm. never <laughs> changed it. Oh, you're right. And two, out? and two out of my three picks have been eliminated. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, Matt Cross and Rima. I'm pretty sure I have an update of mine. I still Ooh, have right. Matt Cross on there. <laughs> so <laughs> he's gonna win. <laughs> oh no, Russell fan says all three of my my picks have been eliminated. <laughs> wow, is this the third week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. No, this is is this what fourth week? Man, I gotta say, USA Network's uh uh what uh, week tough enough f- site. Frames are alive, man. Look at that. Yeah. That is horrible. No, it is that bad. That is horrible. This is why I don't go there to check my, my <laughs> fantasy team. Because I gotta deal with this crap. Uh, what week of Tough Enough is this? Four? It's fourth. Yeah. I think so, so it took four weeks for all three of my picks to get eliminated. And, and granted, five people have left. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because the 11 year bitch Skidmark. just took off. I think Skidmark is gonna win. <laughs> but, um,. Skid marks. He'll, he'll be the uh, out of nowhere. He reminds me. You know who he reminds me of? Hmm. Josh Matthews and Al Snow on Tough Enough season one. Wow. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I, may, are those available on DVD? Because I really want to watch the first Tough Enough. Like for a comparison. I'll, I, I know I missed the tracks facility. You know, come on, this mansion is bullshit. Um, <laughs> seriously, stick them no in the way. I, it's bullshit. I, I like the mansion. Ah, uh, no, because come you on. Like the that real world. That's exactly the you like way the real I world. Have no, I didn't house like built. the real world. What, what's that there, Wheels? I said that's exactly how I'd love to have my house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, no, the mansion works out well. Mm-hmm. Um, everything is right there, and they can do stuff like the episode I watched last night, where someone kicks in your door. And says, wake up, it's time to go for a run. Okay, okay. And makes and, you and run. It's not, I, I do like that it's not overbearing like uh, Ultimate Fighter is. You, right. You, you've watched that. Yeah. It's like half the thing was in it. Right. Uh, it, was, it was in the mansion and them ha- getting drunk in parties and having fights and stuff. And it's just, Yeah, last it's night not I saw that, maybe 10 minutes of them in the mansion. I mean, granted, it's, it's still very reality TV-ish and everything. There's all these outside arguments and everything. But there is, and there's the stupid challenges. Right. The the roller, the roller skating. Yeah, the thing. roller skating but this week was. That's <laughs> like to make it appeal to everybody outside of like wrestling fans, you know. Um, but did you see poor Bill Dumont laugh and his tears were rolling out of his eyes when poor uh, Eric like biffed it? Oh yeah. yeah. He took oh, out yeah. that poor chair. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, but I mean, yeah. No. It, it, I, you're, you're right. The the challenges are complete bullshit. Um, it it seems like all of them are. I, I've seen cheerleading and I've seen roller skating. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's just... again attacked by a dog because that's what wrestling training is. Next right. week's it's 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 basketball. Little well, person basketball. <laughs> but I mean, I can understand the cheerleading. Like I can rationalize why they had to do the cheerleading. Yes. 
I cannot rationalize any of the rest. <laughs> agility. No. <laughs> no. Not even that. One has agility. <laughs> it was it was all to prepare for the return of the Spirit Squad 2000. <laughs> oh god. That's what everybody wanted. That's what everybody wanted. Spirit Squad 2000. <laughs> Spirit Squad 2012, baby. Yeah, it's going to be like all tough enough contestants. Wow. I would love it. Like a cat. Yeah. It sounds electric. It'll be the uh, top five tough enough. Well, I tell you what, if you're tired of tough enough, I, I, I want wrestling.com's podcast uh, on their uh, uh, promote this uh, section. Ha- had this up. Uh, it's it's called World of, Ho- World of Hurt with Lance Storm. What? It's a reality show. It's tough enough without the reality bullshit. Wow. And it's based and in it's, Calgary. It's based Alberta, in Alberta, Canada. Canada. Thank you very <laughs> much. There's a little bit of it right there. I mean, the video's not playing, but it, it's, it's, uh, I guess he's working it out from his, he's, he's got a promotion up there, of course. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's for real. It's only a half hour show. It's, it's coming up on the Cave TV, which I think is a Canada only thing. I really hope I'm able to find that after it's released. Look like um, Bob Holly in that picture. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, but he's got a great, he's got a great Ooh, thing I there. Syrup in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's an interesting alternative, and of course, in the the Canadian version, which has a little more higher regard for wrestling, which right. is kind of what I want to see, you know, as a more in depth wrestling fan, right? You know, so no, I mean, not that you know, Mister I Hate Indies guy. But, no, uh, <laughs> you know what? I no, yeah, Taji. If if there is an indie wrestling fed that I would watch. It would most likely be from Canada or Mexico. <laughs> That's true. That's true. There you go. Or, there you go. or, you know what? No, let me rephrase that. There's three countries that I would watch indie wrestling from. At that point, let, 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 me, let me qualify that for a second. At that point, it's not really indie wrestling. It's it just could foreign. be yeah, it's their just, WWE. Right, right. International AAA, wrestling. AAA right. is kind of WWE for Mexico. Right. You know, uh, but I mean, I would CMLL. watch... It would, yeah, but the yeah. production value would okay. be the same though, in comparison. <laughs> okay, so uh, well, we're talking about the the Univision level quality, right? Of it, if WWE was on Univision, right? Okay, yes, I would watch it from Canada, Mexico, Japan. End of story. Okay, those. Okay, I would watch that low quality wrestling, like low production quality wrestling. In those countries, would would. Uh... Foreign objects just be objects. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, you're popping a little there, Bobby. I don't know if it's on our oh, end or yours. No. So uh, that's okay. We got we got oh, that. Well, you made him sad. If but if, yeah, yeah. I mean, because they take wrestling serious, yeah, and I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying that the American indies don't take wrestling serious because they do. Um, to, but no, it's a different argument. Yeah, it was what you're saying. But so. I mean. I would watch it based on the wrestling alone. I need to toss you some. I need to toss you some like Shakara Ring of Honor DVDs. I think that's what we'll do. I, I just want to get your opinion. Really, I, I would like to see you to just take a take a you know take a look at them and and compare and 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 come back with us with your thoughts because I know you haven't gone too much into a lot of that stuff. Right. <laughs> what? what are you Nothing, I, no, I, I misheard you. Oh. I thought you said you haven't thought too much about. <laughs> what you're saying <laughs> no that's not and then i realized that you said i'm sorry i i just i think chachi has an interesting take on it I, and all of the all of the support indie wrestler fans are now pissed at you but i, I i'm waiting for the hate yeah, mail. Yeah, yeah i'm surprised um if but, anything we'll get his hate mail i think it'll be this yeah i mean Chachi's gonna get murdered by aon people <laughs> no <laughs> actually uh we determined before the show that if i'm gonna get murdered it's gonna be by wheels um, oh no! So, mm-hmm. but I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and defend myself anymore. I don't. Okay. I don't no, need no, no, to. That's fine. That's fine. That's what. I, I've made my arguments. <laughs> Haters can suck. And we'll it. see where it goes. I'll, I'll send you some stuff here. Um, let's see what else is going on. <clears throat> hey, Ted, Ted, Ted DiBiase. First, did you know he was still on Raw? Well, he's not anymore. He's <laughs> also not really wrestling anymore uh, because he's to undergo multiple surgeries. Wait, um, are we talking about Baby DiBiase? Ah, baby DiBiase. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm He's sorry. This is really poorly written. Senior Hall of Famer Ted DiBiase. Uh-uh. Now I'm really uh-huh. confused. Um, 
He's gonna become Cyber DiBiase. <laughs> the six million dollar man. Dude, that's in the article, actually. It's a quote, they call me the million dollar man, but once I get two knee replacements and a hip replacement, they will be calling me the six million dollar man. Wait, he hasn't He's had so this clever. already? Uh, what would, oh, I don't know, he wasn't really that high impact, I thought. That he would need that, but he's like he's getting up there in age, yeah. you know. I mean, I don't. He's not doing this to get back in the ring, is he? Oh God, I hope I don't think so. I, I don't think I mean, so. I he's, think he's always struck game. me as being smarter yeah. than that. Yeah. He's gonna drop like 150 pounds before he considers. Yeah, that. yeah. I mean, he was at he was at Legends <laughs> last year, and I mean, he was just kind of doing stuff outside the ring. He was having a blast punching people, <laughs> but uh, other than that, I don't think you're gonna see him doing. I want to steal. His Although, belt. man, to get a kind of dream team team up of him and his son. Would be kind of fun. You, you know? know who they should fight. Who's that? The, the Rhodes. Rhodes. <laughs> Taking it back. Yep. And then Virgil will just be there. He's yeah. not going to be booked. He'll just be there. <laughs> yeah, Virgil yeah, will just Virg- be... Virgil was at Night of Legends again this year. By himself? Huh. As always. Surprise of no one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just it's Virgil. You I know? think he just shows up. Like he I don't think appears. he was invited. I just he, he I just, just think appears. he showed up with the table. I, you know what? I really wish I would have <laughs> thought that. I would just ask like like Val Venus and 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 Jerry Lawler. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he just roll when he finds out that it's like Legends Night. Yeah, he just rolls up. He pulls out a table with a banner. It sets up like he doesn't get invited. He's great. He's great because he's sitting there at the table, you know, and he's between like Sonny, who's getting pretty much mobbed. You know, by horny guys and uh, right. one of the Rock and Roll Express. Quit talking uh, about yourself, there, Sorg. <laughs> oh, hey, Missy's the jealous one that I got there. You know, I <laughs> uh, got closer there. Um, uh, Chess Flexor, on the other hand, um, was, uh, I lost my thought. Thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> man, he he is like his glory days was the NWO. Is uh, the, some of right. come up like yeah, Virgil. Yeah. And he's doing that. Mar- 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 he like he was doing the <laughs> no, no. He just like stopped. Yeah, he's doing like the guitar, no, no. doing the NWO music with his mouth. Whoa! I just like that noise he made. Just, we, that's, that's what he made. We lost Bobby. Bobby. Bobby died. Jesus, did he explode? What the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> He comes back with that. <laughs> no, that was not the noise you was, made. No, though. that was not the noise. It was just like I thought you just had another flood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Johnstown <laughs> wet. Um, you're never gonna live that down. You were just like. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> Oh, the internet's fun. Um, all right. Uh, well, th- there's that. So, uh, Ted DiBiase, he'll be pulled through there. All right. Yeah. Well, not that he's life threatening. I mean, no. it's just, it's just, he's just old. <laughs> as we, as, as Riz pointed out, he's old and old people need knee surgeries <laughs> and hip replacements and crippled cards. They all just need to be put down. There you go, wheels. Send DiBiase an yeah! email. The dude has the money. He needs a cripple cart. <laughs> Yes, and I do have my price. Wait, yes he does. <laughs> yes he does. Ted DiBiase, this can be yours. It's already halfway blinged out. We're sure you'll put some diamond crusted studs on the thing right there. You got the million dollar belt. You got the million dollar man. Now you got the million dollar cart right there. <laughs> the million Ooh, that has dollar. That a nice sound to it too. The million, the million dollar, dollar cart. Purple cart. Yeah. Runs up and steals it. That's right. Tell you what, you toss in an extra five hundred dollars, DiBiase, and I will put a belt rack on it. <laughs> <laughs> now I have this image of him just like rolling around Walmart on the crib with the main dollar belt across the front of it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, and now we have a show title. Mad Mike said that it has a bumper sticker that says "I don't break for Virgils." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Bobby. We had to turn down there. What's going on? Fine. Well, I'm sorry. Well, you heard like I don't know what was going on there. What what, what were you saying, man? Am I fine now? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. What I what I said was, wow. I'm okay. Skip me. I don't know what's going on with my mic. Okay. All right. I think Skype just failed on him. I'll call you back here, man. Uh, let's move on to something else. Uh, LB, you got something to bring up. I do. I do. Uh, I, I let the fans uh, go to town on it uh, with the uh, with the, e- the emails and all that fun stuff. But the draft, I think I figured out the core problem 
to the draft, and that's not a pun because it has nothing to do with the core. Wait, hold on. Um, can I take a stab at this before you start? Yes. That it happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally disagree. I love the draft. The draft is my third favorite time of the year. Uh, my second favorite being WrestleMania and my first favorite being the Royal Rumble. Um, but they, they just, they, they exhibited exactly what was wrong uh, with what they're doing. First, first draft of the night, John Cena. And as soon as that happened, everybody knew he was going back uh, at the end of the night. Take a risk. They won't take a risk if they would just fucking... It's like they're just dipping their toes, and they've been doing this for years. They'll just dip their toes, and that's it. And then they'll dip their toes, and that's it. And they won't just dive in. That's why you see... Uh, so many guys pushes just fizzle halfway. That's why you see, you know, these half-ass <laughs> pushes. Kofi gets pushed to a certain degree and then let go or all that shit, you know. And it's it's that schizophrenic booking and shit like that. If they fucking send John Cena to SmackDown, do it. See what why happens. not? No, this is Cash Cow, and they want him on the show. That's going to get the bigger ratings. And, oh, I understand and, and why they're keeping him on Raw. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, if they want to make some interesting things happen, I mean, they're going to have to take some risks. They've been playing it safe for way too many years. Do something unexpected, for fuck's sake. Those mm-hmm. are the best moments. Definitely. Definitely. I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Mm-hmm. Wheels, what do you think? <laughs> You're still back on the NWO <laughs> thing. What the hell? <laughs> Wheels, what do you think about the draft this year? Honestly, it was predictable. It was. I mean, I watched it. And I'm sitting there going, I knew that. And then, not even before the end of Raw, I'm like, I have a feeling Cena's just coming right back. Mm-hmm. And I was right. And so he did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bobby, I think we got you figured out here. What was your overall impression of the draft? Uh, I thought it was decent. Um, I just was mad that the the whole Battle Royal main event and the, and the, the six-man tag main event were for nothing. Yeah. You know, because I mean, it, was, it was a waste of time. Because it was Cena going back and forth. Exactly. And it involved, like, your entire roster for Cena. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, Just, that was a little... You know what they should do? Either cut John Cena in half or clone him. <laughs> oh, please don't clone him. No, don't clone him. Well, him just, you know, one clone could be, like, really dumb, and the other clone could be, like, funny and smart and... SmackDown gets a dumb clone. Like that really shitty uh, uh, Michael um, uh, movie. Multiplicity. Multiplicity. What was his I name? Michael, Michael, Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah. Thank you. There it is. Okay. Cena and Multiplicity 2. I don't know how. <laughs> she touched my, touch my baby, Steve. Yeah, she touched my puppy, Steve. <laughs> I like pizza. But see, that, that is why the Royal Rumble and the draft are two of my favorite moments of the entire year, because you don't fucking know what's going to happen. Who's going to be the surprise me. in the Rumble? Who's going to win this year? It could be almost anybody. Just fucking but you know what, mix though? it up, man. You know what? To that effect, has the Elimination Chamber kind of become that, too? Because we've seen them completely rewrite what WrestleMania is going to be a month from WrestleMania with that pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I has, it, has yeah. that become kind of? I mean, it, it, definitely not to the scale of a draft or a Royal Rumble, but you have in each match six possibilities that you could just swap it up, you know, like they did the, the year they did that with Edge, where he he lost the belt on one <laughs> and then went mm-hmm. to the other thing. They all Kofi. Yeah, I mean, I mean that was ridiculous, and and you know everybody's saying, oh, I know what's going to happen in WrestleMania. This is this is too predictable. And now it's like, whoa. That but did anybody fun. notice with this draft, you got Sheamus over on SmackDown, who is mm-hmm. the U.S. champion, yeah. and you have the Intercontinental champion on SmackDown. Uh, what, do they have matches this weekend? I don't know. Well, hey, this will be a great time to see the pay-per-view that's going on this yes. weekend. How about and that? And while you're oh. doing that... I'll talk about more dumbass shit that happened during the draft. Go for it! Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, I have to ask, oh, uh, who is the Intercontinental Champion? Um, Wade Barrett. Wade yeah. Barrett. Wade Barrett, yeah. yeah. Well, when the fuck did that happen? Uh, last right last after... <laughs> right after the last, the last I knew, the Intercontinental <laughs> Champion was fucking... Um, Kofi. Kofi. Yeah, it, was, it happened no, shortly but, after uh, the Corps won the tag belts. It yeah. was... Uh, 
fucking Drew McIntyre. Wow, that's a long time. Wow, ago. you don't wow. watch SmackDown. <laughs> but um, belts, I don't pay attention to the Intercontinental title. <laughs> so, but this also, if there's no like, like brand crossing with those belts, could we see a unification of those? It may be Probably. time for that. I mean, we already have a unification for the Divas for the tag belts. I mean, I don't know if it's made anything feel more important. Do that but, shit. Uh, bring back the cruiserweights. Ah, uh, no, no, don't. Don't. Sin Cara. No more. No. Let it's, him do it. No, no. <laughs> you let your intercontinentals become the cruiserweights to a point, you know? Or I mean, bring back, t- take away the U.S. any intercontinental and bring back the European title. Oh. Mm. Hardcore. Hardcore. Um, but I mean, all right. I, so, yeah, you're right. John Cena being swapped is dumb. It, I mean, that whole flip flop, that was just freaking mm-hmm. retarded. But I, other things that didn't make sense to me during the draft. Uh, the whole Rey Mysterio Sin Cara swap. Mm-hmm. That's just With playing. Albert De- Alberto De Rio going too. Yeah, well, so. well, hold on, I'm getting there. <laughs> it, it's just bad because, all right. If you put, if you put Mysterio on Raw with Sin Cara, they have people they can fight. Mm-hmm. That would be a fantastic match mm-hmm. instead of having to do cross brand matches. But then what are they going to do? Those guys fight each other and then what? Exactly. I think they sh- that that's a match that needs to be held off, and they both need to do well on their new brands, and then that needs blah, to go for blah, WrestleMania. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. No, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I think they should bring back the cruiserweight belt if they're going to unify the U.S. title and the Intercontinental title. Mm-hmm. Then I think they need to bring it back the be, the it cruiserweight. It might be belt. time to do that. You know, here's the other question: What survives the Intercontinental or the U.S.? It would be the Intercontinental. It's got to be because it's it, the WWE belt. Yes, the yeah, Intercontinental. Too much history. The Intercontinental would survive oh, because that no. would be the. It, what happened on the Divas belt? I mean, you got the women's belt yeah. with all that history, and then we just like chucked it aside for the Divas belt. Seriously, well, championship uh, of the world. <laughs> but I mean, it, still, uh, it. But what they need to do <laughs> is they need to number one merge the two belts. Mm-hmm. You can have one, or you can have the other. It, there doesn't need to be both. And then you bring back the cruiserweight belt. And that gives all these uh, these cruiserweights something to fight for, because they're not going to get a real push at the the, the WE title. No, not not, not likely, anymore. Unless yeah. it's a a weird like Mysterio push right, or something. Right. And so that gives them that title. It doesn't take anything away from that title. It just gives them something that they honestly have a shot at. Mm-hmm. And then you go back to using the inter- intercontinental title. For what it was originally used for. And that's the number two guy. You use that yeah. to prep and it was push. the stepping stone. It, yes. Although, you know what? It was a stepping stone to a point. Yeah, because uh, Macho Man, uh, uh, Steamboat left before before he could get anywhere. Uh, who else was IC champion that moved up like that? Um, the Rock did it. Tom Rock. Rock. I mean, but then you have everyone. Then didn't all... you have like didn't like Ric Flair win the IC belt at one point, you know something like that. I think so. Like well, I'll probably, Triple H, but that's Triple just... H drop back and I got the IC belt. It was just it's those weird places. It was like the that. it was the belt that the guys you were pushing yeah, yeah. held or, until you were able to write them a script. Or even no no because <laughs> you had really interesting storylines with. The Intercontinental Belt. I remember uh, Bret Hart and Mr. Perfect going back and forth for years. Look at, you know, Macho Man and, and Steamboat. Um, you, those were like the, the story that was second to the main event. Right. Now we have two main event belts and one of them ends up being second story to the one that's the main event of the night. Uh, so in effect, Depending on what night it is, the world belt is the Intercontinental to the WWE Championship. Or the WWE Championship is the Intercontinental to your world championship. It just, and that just knocks it further down and not enough attention has be, been put on something like a Kofi versus Barrett feud. Or, uh, or, or, I don't know who else has been going for those belts. Sheamus. Well, I mean, I mean, they've this- been, they've got interesting things going on with Sheamus with this US belt. 
there could be a lot more attention to it. I, I just double checked on the pay per view. Neither belt that we're talking about is being defended on this pay per view. Right. And that's exactly. a fucking problem. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, you get rid of. All right. I'm going back to this because it needs to be reiterated. Mm-hmm. But you get rid of the U.S. belt. Mm-hmm. You add a cruiser's weight belt. Okay. You've already consolidated the tag belts. And then they kind of get, uh, and maybe they kind of get. They need to stop with this fucking branded thing. I, you're not going to see that go. I know it's not going to go away, but they need to stop it. They need I think, to. Ha- I think they need to make a decision as to whether they're going to be branded or not. Yeah. Uh, they need to. I mean, the problem is there's too many fucking belts. Mm-hmm. There's no, the, there's no point to them. Right. To the, it, They're not it, important. It, there's no prestige to these belts anymore. That, that, that's, that's why you have the streak is the most important thing in wrestling right now, and nobody really cares as much about who gets the belt. They more care when the, when the Rock's going to interfere and what he's going to do, you know. Uh, it, and it's, that's a fucking problem. That is a problem. I mean, the belts, the championships. Are, Notice are, I'm saying all these fucks now. Yes, yes, you Kay. are, because we got them all out, because yeah, we were talking about PlayStation <laughs> on the last show. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... That's a fucking problem. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because oh, I, 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 all right, I may have been excited for the Triple H Undertaker match at WrestleMania. Yeah. All right. But I agree with AJ. Mm-hmm. That fucking shit never should have happened. Mm-hmm. All right. There is no way that at Wrestle fucking Mania, a streak is more important than a belt. And I understand how it's become that ba- that big and it's really marketable for them. Uh, but you. There's no ch- turn again. Like 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 I'll be saying, take a fucking risk. You know they they mm-hmm. really they really you can look at a WrestleMania like that and see them. There's a few guys p- popping up there, but there's a lot of them resting on their laurels. It's like yeah, we got the Miz in the main event, and you know all the credit to him. I think it was great. I think it was great for him to be involved in that. But don't worry about the Miz if he's not really ready for prime time because we got the Rock and John Cena involved in this match, and it was a damn good match for the I, time I'm they not, were giving it. I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm pointing at the audience. Yeah. <laughs> you're just over there. Okay. Um, and then what, what was the other uh, championship match? We had uh, Del Rio and Edge, which was pushed to the front of the show. Had Edge in it. Okay, Del Rio, uh-huh. you can't really sit and call a newbie because he's been around the block a few times. They, that's why he's getting pushed as hard as he is. Because he was probably the I don't know Ric Flair of the Mexico or something, you know I I don't know I I know there's history there. I like Sin Cara, you know, was a big deal because they, they brought him up and it mm-hmm. was news. He was right. It was all over. Sin Cara the news was Mystico, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's and he's what like I he's a legend. Sack for Batman. Um, yeah, I I hate to see it. I hope they you don't they don't turn him into Jobber. I hope he gets the fuck out if they do. Um, and there's some stuff in the chat room I wanted to touch on. Uh, uh, Mike, Mike pointed out a, a little bit ago, actually, um, the, the odds are someone takes one of those belts tonight on SmackDown that's going to Raw. They, they've done that before, you know. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much par for the cards. Because everybody's not drafted over yet. You they've know? done that almost they've, every draft, though. Yeah, Somebody with like, the belt oh, gets no. drafted and, ooh, yeah, they yeah. drop it. It's like, oh, great, here we go. Except for that one time when they had both, both big belts on, on a show. That's so, true. Is that? Um, and yeah, Mike, Mike uh, uh, says, Chachi, the, the streak's defended once a year, belt's defended at least 12 times a year, a lot of times more. Don't care. That's why it's more important. That's don't care. <laughs> no. It, the championship belt mm-hmm. is the top, or is supposed to be the top prize in the industry. Yes. Okay? The streak is just bragging rights. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Yes. And you more have, so than the you, pay-per-view bragging right, rights. Right, right. You have a valid point, and I'm not taking away anything from that. Yeah. But it should not overshadow the belt. Yeah. In any circumstance. Yes, this is say even when they uh, threw the IC belt on Triple H, it wasn't a major storyline. It was just like that's when he was running with uh, Stone Cold when Stone Cold was heel, and they're like, "Well, they're taking over. We gave Stone Cold the big one. Here you go. You took this one too. Right. You know." And uh, uh, tag didn't they get the tag belts too? There or did they? Yeah, yeah, they got the tag belts from the Brothers of Destruction, Taker and Kane. I think was the, the what was going on there. That's what they should have done with Nexus, the original Nexus. 
Just take over all the belts. Just take yeah, all I the belts. And I wonder about that too, because Barrett was like almost there. Yeah. And uh, and that would have been really interesting to just go ahead and do that, you know, if they had that much mm-hmm. faith in them, which obviously hey. they didn't. And that's what well, it fuck, comes they're down almost to. doing that on SmackDown, but uh-huh. they, again, they just won't pull the trigger. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh man, we want to see Christian do it. I well, agree. then what's more interesting then? Getting Christian finally in there or getting Del Rio out of left field, you know, out of, oh my God. You know, up in there. But then, are we just going to see that on Raw anyways? AJ brought up a very good point. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm moving past the streak thing. Because no matter what I say, oh, no, no, Mike that's, is going to... That's done yeah. to death. We, we're, um, yeah, everybody's got their opinion. Uh, he said the brands should be considered separate feds. Completely separate ideas. Mm-hmm. And he's right. I think it makes it more interesting right. to do it that way. Yeah, Cause, right, cause I agree. And everybody's sliding back and forth. It's like, oh, Jack Swagger's on Raw every week. He got drafted. And... Right. Yeah, what's the fucking point? <laughs> so, yeah, it was, you know, Ted DiBiase, I thought he was on SmackDown already, and that didn't he? He was popping up all over SmackDown for a while right. there, I thought. And he's just been on NXT, NXT Wasteland. You know, I mean, we got, we got something like, you know, uh, Superstars, I think, maybe confuses people even further. Um, I mean, I, I understand why these people are showing up on other brand, on opposite brands to set up. Um, uh, pay per view matches, yeah, which yeah. is the only time they should interact. Yeah, but it should still be kept to a minimum. Yeah, yeah. I agree. If you have, if if all your um, because no one's gonna buy two pay per views <laughs> a month. Yeah, if if all your guys are feuding with guys for, if all your raw guys are feuding with guys from SmackDown, and then at the beginning you have to have a huge battle royal with all the other guys that are on your brand. Just to get them some TV time, you're doing it wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's uh, uh, here's a, here's a point that Briz brought up. He said the winner of Royal Rumbles is supposed to get the main event spot, right? Uh, that's how it used to be. That's how it used to be. He got a title match. Yeah, now but you he just curtain get, jerked. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, now you just get a title shot. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not really t- title of your choice. Yeah, it's it's rough. I, I, and it's like, but then you can say, well, there's actually kind of like three main events, you know, but you can't have that show's a main event at this point until you mm-hmm. get to the chick match, you know, or the, uh, I, I mean, or something like Lawler Cole, you know, Ooh. which actually can be pushed as a kind of main event feature match of some it's sort. It's like a gimmicky, a really, really gimmicky match. Yeah. 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 And, and, and uh, those WrestleManias have always gone that way. So. Um, I, I, I miss it, I miss WrestleMania nine. <laughs> WrestleMania nine, wow. Yeah, um, Greek. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh no, Roman, Roman times. Roman, whatever. whatever. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Different haircut. Close, close enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, the brand. Ex- I agree. The brand extension, I think, has just been too diluted right now. You know. Um, bring back EC Dub. EC Dub. No, yeah. we don't want to go through that again. Why not? I, my 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 soul can't take that anymore. Bring back WCW. That way, when they fuck it up, no one's gonna give a shit. There you go. There you go. It'd oh, be that's... an interesting experiment. Yeah, just change the name of SmackDown to WCW. What if they did like just launch something like WCW or something like this is where all of our experimental shit goes. I wish they would. You know, or is that what they're doing with NXT? You know, so. Um, <laughs> Matt Mike said uh, that's on Thursday's lunchbox. What's on Thursdays? <laughs> the the <So>, WCW <laughs> experimental shit. So TNA is really Vince <laughs> McMahon's like super experiment in trash TV, I guess. Um, it's twice yeah. I threw up in my mouth tonight. So uh, some stuff. <laughs> WCW Impact. And speaking of uh, of WCW Impact, uh, Daphne's there's, there's more stuff coming out, but the filing of the workers' comp claim against former employee TNA Wrestling. Yeah, hey. Daphne was asked to do a spot to which she would go through a table of tax. She was hesitant to take spot. Terry Taylor, the Red Rooster, uh, assured <laughs> it's not in here like that. Uh, assured Daphne <laughs> that she would was. be fine and she would be taken care of. After a lot of convincing from both Terry and Vince Russo, uh, who was telling her how important the spot was for the feud that was going on, which she wasn't even a main part of, by the way, like she wasn't the focal point of, Daphne goes through with the spot 
and was injured. Uh, let's see, what was that? It was Abyss versus Steven Richards, right? Yeah? Is that memorable for you guys? No? All right. Uh, <laughs> following the injury, she is treated at the hospital and taken via ambulance. Worse still is that Spike wouldn't let TNA air the spot on impact. They refused to air it on their policy of violence towards women. To put a cherry on top of this story, a huge bill from the hospital would fall out for Daphne. And none of them would cover. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, it, now, this that, is, well, okay, go ahead. No, uh, no, what's your, your thing? You does, work for lawyers. How does TNA have a women's division then? Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? Well, it, towards women. It was obviously a guy put her through the table. It doesn't matter. We, will, and that's we will give you a nickel and a ham sandwich to go out there and wrestle. Exactly. 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 That's pretty much what they pay the women, I guess. Um, and that's also how they pay the women. Um, now, oh, nah, 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 nah. Uh, uh, now kind of in a related story, because, I mean, I'm sure they do under the whole, these are, uh, didn't we have the thing a few years ago with, uh, who was it? Who was it? I, it's a union talk uh, with WWE and everything. Uh, oh, this was Raven. Yes, yes. So where we're talking about how they're um, uh, contract, independent contractors uh, for all the talent with WWE, TNA, etc. Well, uh, Richard Blumenthal, uh, who beat Linda McMahon in Connecticut, mm -hmm. uh, is supporting legislation in Washington that cracks down on worker misclassification. Classification: The practice of classifying employees as contractors or part-time in order to prevent paying wages. Ooh, I know a few places that would apply to. Yeah. Uh, outside of wrestling, benefits and tax. I read that part. The subject was a contentious <laughs> point during the campaign between Blumenthal and former WWE CEO Linda McMahon when it was revealed that WWE was under investigation by Connecticut for possible violations of this very thing. <laughs> So, thanks for wrestling.net yes. for that story. Robert um, Blumenthal looked at Linda McMahon and he said, Look at it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doing it wrong. Um, so what do you guys think about this? I mean, is this like, uh, are we, are, are we in a campaign now for, for, I was almost said women's rights for wrestlers' rights these days with these guys. You kind of these days, be. shit. There's been a mild campaign for wrestlers' rights for years. Yeah. yeah I was just thinking just, the same like, thing. Like, the only problem is that campaign is never going to get off the ground because you're going to have uh, five or ten wrestlers saying, yeah, yeah, we should be taken care of. We should have rights. We should have, you know, unions and all this stuff. And then you're going to have everyone else in the locker room saying uh, it's always been done this way. So shut the fuck up and you'll keep your job. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it's never going to work out uh, so, long, so long as somebody like Vince McMahon, who is from that old school of thought, uh, you know, isn't going to. You know, own, own up to something like that. Plus, or unless they get forced to by the government, and and, and then who knows there, you know? What's and that? that's going to kill indie wrestling. I guess. I'm just going to say, <laughs> if you get the government put into this, it's going to hurt the living hell out of indie wrestling. Yeah. Period. Well, I mean, man, a lot of indie wrestling does, stuff is under the radar. I mean, I. Oh yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that that I've seen that is not approved by the Pennsylvania <laughs> Athletic Commission out there. You know. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, it, and that's just like that, like blading and stuff. You, you know, in Pennsylvania, you're not allowed to intentionally blade yourself, you know. And there's a lot of blood in indie Sorg. matches. There's less so. What does that mean? We can arrest emo kids? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Shit! I just started a new business. What? Fuck yes. Hey, I went in. All I was going to do is, like, find them, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, these little bastards don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whack them with chairs. Pay the fine. You fucking do the time. Yeah. See how bad you want to cut yourself after Bubba's ramming it up your asshole. <laughs> and then the uh, Mad Mike brings up how, uh, you know, hey, at least WWE pays for uh, surgeries and, and rehab to former employees that haven't been there for 20 years, mind you. So they get them a lot of credit for that. Um, but there still no, is credit for that, but they're not obligated to do no, that. No, they're stuff. not. They're obviously and if they not. don't feel well, like it, they're just also say, oh, no, now you. they're more obligated because they're a publicly traded company. So, and then going to the point, Vince McMahon's not going to come up with that, you know, because he's got the old school mindset like we talked about. But the shareholders that, you know, didn't get trained in a, in a, in a warehouse in uh, a Western basement. Pennsylvania, you know, what's that? <laughs> or, a basement or a basement or something like that. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, we have business people are saying, no, 
you really need to take care of your employees. Uh, I don't no, it's know, not man. the shareholders. I don't think I don't think publicly traded company necessarily directly leads to morals. Yeah, no, it, oh, it's yes, not. it does. It, you're, you're answering the shareholders. The share if the shareholders don't have a positive opinion of you morally, uh, financially, uh, you know, or a- a- anything like that, they're going to dump your stock and your stock goes down. Yeah, and that's what that's. That's, that was, that's great in a now. perfect world, but look how much, look how many companies just fucking, you know, got away with stealing money and doing crimes and shit. Yes. That happens all the time. Yes, but those companies don't have as big of a positive, uh, uh, public facing, uh, face to them, uh, as WWE that's on every Monday, uh, Thursday and Friday, you know, uh, mm. on TV and has high, the, you know, the highest cable ratings in history, you know. I mean, nobody, hardly knows who wells fargo is unless you have a loan through them versus everybody knows pretty much who john cena is or the rock or stone i don't know i think we know who john cena is but like i've thought i've mentioned the name to people in my office and like who the fuck is that but you know but But if you i mean if you read the news you know who wells fargo is (laughs) jesus i just but but uh, sorry (laughs) but then there's a lot of wrestling fans that probably don't know what wells fargo is right um, that go? sorry, I just broke something. What and threw doing? it across the room. <laughs> he got so angry. Well, yeah, um, Jesus. he's very fucking well. Like, Fargo. 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 There it is. And I we can move on. It. Oh, that's a couple cart. There we go. Uh, well, we get the triple threat match, of course, which I, John Marison, Morrison seems like he's still kind of stuck in there. And we got our truth. You know, um, I'm not going to go this at the pace that this site's doing it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we have that and we got Christian Edge in the, our Christian Edge. Christian and Del Rio yes. in the ladder match. Uh, um, Russell fan said there's new matches for the pay-per-view from the tapings. Okay, okay. Uh, Sheamus versus Kofi Kingston. For the belt, somebody's... Got, well, Kofi's on Raw. No stip announced yet. There's no rules, at least. And Michelle, Michelle versus, versus Layla. Layla. All that'll be great. Yeah. You know? Hey, so it's, I can it's see another one. That's that it. basically, you're going to see the U.S. title go back to Raw. Yeah. It's like, uh, Michelle and Layla is no DQ, no count out. And, and that's another one. It's like, really, Lake Cole can't stick around for a bit more? I guess. You know? I mean, that was one of the best things they had going as far as the women go. I mean, there's actually Layla something Layla was hot, though. I mean, Dude, there's... Bell, the... That's true, but who else are they going to feud with? Yeah, but, but like, the Bellas? Seriously, that's going to be your replacement for Lake Cole? Yep. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're so excited about that. Um, let's see. We got Orton and Punk, which I, I think will be a good match. Should uh, be. I last agree. man standing. I mean, that's they give him the time. Uh, Rhodes and Mysterio, uh, yeah. false count anywhere match. Uh, yeah, it'll be all right. Mad, eh. Mike, Mad Mike will like it. Eh. I thought that shit was over at WrestleMania, and they're yeah. still. I know, right? Sucking it out. Yeah, it, it's it was everything. No. I thought it was going to be a, like a mask versus mask eventually. Yeah, it would, it would oh, make sense. That would be awesome. Um, let's say, uh, Christian Del Rio. Uh, I mean, we, we kind of expect Christian to win because they're not sending the belt over. Right. Because, yeah. Um, I don't think he'll hold it long, though. He could be transitional. Who knows? But just, he, just to get him up there. I mean, he's fought for it before. He was in a triple threat with Cena and Jericho years ago before yeah. he went to TNA. Yeah. So. Before he threw his career down the gutter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, the, the, to WCW light. Yeah. Um, yes. Where he became the NWA heavyweight champion. And the Ross Lawler versus Cool and Swagger match. A country whipping match, Chachi. Yeehaw, bitches. Oh, my God. Uh, here, Jay I'd Hart. rather see me wrestle a midget. <laughs> me too. You know what? I would like awesome. to see that. <laughs> Um, uh, suggestions for booking for uh, a certain fed out there. Um, anyways, uh, no, Sorg, you're not allowed to film because midgets do not like you. That's right. That's <laughs> how they'll punch me in the face. Um, <laughs> Mad Mike said Christian is gonna win and then feud with Mark Henry. Mark Henry, really, really, is this like an ECW and flashback? Bobby is sad because he's muted. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. He's back. What do you think about all this, Bobby? Okay. 
hurt my feelings. You were like making weird sounds over there. I swear. You were it was all getting poppy and fizzy, and I don't even know what's am going I, on. Am I sounding fine now? He's, uh, yeah, he's Elka Seltzer. Yes. I had a couple zingers you guys missed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put them in an email. We're reading them next week. Are you eating week. them there, Bobby? No, I'm just oh. kidding. Oh, oh. oh. I'm sorry, oh. Bobby. It's, it's all in love, bro. Fat jokes from the guy in the crypt cart. There is a match we're going to book now. Bobby versus Hot Wheels. Hot oh, dog. Card on a The winner match. gets a zinger. Oh, ho. Zinger scroll. Oh, my God. But so is there any valid opinion you have? That... What the hell? What the hell is that? That's my fish puppet. He, he's fish puppet. He's fish in puppet. an aquarium. Oh, my God. It sounds like bubbles. Oh, wow. I, I I I don't even know if you have anything. I you're just making noises at this yes. point. Yeah. Uh well it, I know, extreme rules. It's a pay per view. Pay per view. Yeah. It's not worth sixty dollars. Nope. Go see it at your local bar. What what is worth sixty dollars nowadays? These days, apparently, uh uh not even a pay per view tank of gas for me. So Yeah, see. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah I won't I won't put more than twenty dollars at a whack. And that gets you down the street. Yeah, so. that gets me to work and back. And yeah. I live on hey, the, the south cripp- side and work downtown. Hey, just think about it. The cripple cart runs on electricity. You save on gas. He's still Fuck, trying to sell it. Awesome Listen idea. here, Ted DiBiase. Yep. <laughs> wait, wait, DiBiase? wait. LB, if you get the cripple <laughs> cart, and I see you putting down south side over the I will the do bridge. it with my mask on. With your mask on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What would, what would be even better if Ted DiBiase does buy the cripple cart? Having Virgil like standing on the back and going, Wee! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was the greatest thing to have wheels on here tonight. Yeah, that was great. Well, guys, it's time to learn. What did you learn from wrestling this week, Bobby? I learned that John Cena cannot be cloned. <laughs> what the hell? Um, I have a good idea for a stable. And WWE has never, like, done this. But if they would take William Regal, who is near retirement, as a manager, okay, have Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Wade Barrett, and Mason Ryan all on the same brand, they could have a kick-ass stable of European wrestlers. Yeah, the Un-Americans. Wait, they've done that. Oh. <laughs> no, uh, they, uh, they that is, that's a pretty good idea. Oh, but no, they, what, they, did that, they did that with Canadians. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's sorry. what I learned. But what, what was that last one? That's that's what I learned. Okay. Um, Lunchbox, what did you learn this week? Well, I, I, I do want to throw in on, on you? your... Um, I want to piggyback on that for a minute. Um, I, everybody... everybody do, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> You said you wanted to piggyback on it. I told you to look at his dick. Yeah, I'm not paying you a dollar ninety nine. That's um, fine. It's free. Yeah, the last everybody the loves a good stable, and the last stable, last like real big, good stable was um, Legacy. So yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and yeah, I guess I don't really count the fucking NXT guys because whatever. Yeah. What did they do? They pissed off John Cena and then got beat up by him. <laughs> they were a glorified spirit squad. <laughs> anyway, stables. I'm hard up for stables. It's anyway, a good thing Mike's not on this show. <laughs> <laughs> he would be um, going off. <laughs> he is the right yeah. Now. No, he's 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 sitting there staring at the computer, yelling at it. Yeah, <laughs> he's already fuming. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's Whoa. Mad you. <laughs> Fuck you, Trotsky, for Mad Mike. I'm just <laughs> calling it as I know it. That's just for not liking indie wrestling. <laughs> hey, you know what? Fuck your indie wrestling. <laughs> oh. Anyway, what I actually yes. learned from wrestling this week was that what I said already, that WWE uh, has Vince McMahon has a little shriveled up balls and he's scared to take some risks. <laughs> and he needs to fucking, you know, no. whip them out and really show us how big they are. Fucking take some risks, Vince. Right, you might like what happens. He doesn't know how. I don't know how. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't know how. That's Excellent. all there is. Uh, Wheels, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, what did I learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> I have learned that WWE is still predictable after umpteen years of running. 
Yeah, yeah. They, well, they have it down to a science, don't they? <laughs> Riz said he learns that even defunct ECW can get shafted in WWE drafts. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, and from the chat room also, Wrestle Fan, who has joined us, uh, I learned Layla's hot when she's angry. Uh, man, Mike yeah. learned it. Okay, we did that one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Did you read Mad Mike's? No. No, it, it was just very similar to Riz's. Yeah. I learned that somehow, even after losing Edge, SmackDown still gets hosed in the draft. Uh, I'm not reading. I learned that ninjas hate Lil Jim. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, ninjas. Uh, fuck you, Chachi. Uh, <laughs> I, I learned that this week. Yes, 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 I read yours. I read it. Um, Chachi, what'd you learn this week? <laughs> Uh, Riz also learned that he can make me say anything. <laughs> and he just proved it. That yes. could be. Yeah, he did. Well, as the official voice of the Riz, it's my <laughs> part. It's my point. Uh, my job. Sorry. Um, AJ learned that the show is entertaining while driving down Route 28. Wait, you're listening to the show in the car? I didn't know you were <laughs> you're, Oh, it's just in TV app. Yeah. Awesome. Um, what did I learn from wrestling this week? Um, a, a few things. Um, one, the draft is still a terrible idea. Uh, two, I need to make sure I'm watching the mo- most recent Tough Enough <laughs> before I start talking about it. And that's it. That's all I learned. Gorgatron, what did you learn from wrestling this That's week? That's me, guys. Uh, what did I and learn, And we guys? gotta go. Oh. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead. Wow. Wow. Well, I learned... Uh, I, you know what? I'm sort of less excited for stream roles post-draft because it's more like, well, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. That's the thing to pick up on that. I'm getting feedback from somebody. I bet it's Bobby FJ Town. Yeah, it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, the draft kind of killed the pay per view for me. Yeah. And God, please kill off the Cole Lawler thing. It's, I'm over it. I'm over yeah, it. Yeah, that should happen. That one yeah. long. Our truth seems like he goes long on stuff. I, I kind of like what they're doing with him. Uh, uh, but I really hope that, well, hey, JTG. He is coming to Raw. Pro- I'd like to see a good JTG versus Sinkara feud. Fucking. <laughs> You're not going to get fucking that Fucking Mexicans versus black folk. <laughs> <laughs> no, how about Yoshi Tatsu versus Sinkara? Well, that could still happen. Yeah. Triple um, threat. Triple threat of racism. Let's let's make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just throwing a nope. midget and a cripple and we'll be fine. And too. you need to bring back Bradshaw. Oh, yes. Because you need to throw a redneck into that mix. It could be a Mexican border match. Yeah. 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 Defend the border match. Yeah. (laughs) They were reminiscing about that, uh, about, about that whole when he actually went to the Mexican border and, (laughs) because they actually did go to the Mexican border and it got a little hairy. Um, That was his feud with Eddie, wasn't it? What's that? That was during his feud with Eddie, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Even though I don't think he was ever from Mexico. I think he was from El Paso the whole time. Hey, I'm sorry. I got it. Breaking news. Yes? Chris Jericho got booted off Dancing with the Stars tonight. Ah, oh, boo! Oh. Boo! All right. What a bummer. Wow. There's a little... Well, Bobby's saying something. What's that? Ninja's <laughs> chicks. I didn't vote. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> lost there. You lost their nation, uh, wrestling nation. Ninjas, chicks, and Sphinx. That's. <laughs> I'm glad he self edited on that one. No, uh, Mike yeah. edited it for oh, us. Oh, I see. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Good for his dancing cool. ass. Uh, I'm just having fun watching the chat room. Now, uh, guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please check it out again. WrestlingMayhemShow.com for all the stuff for this at Mayhem Show. We got t shirts. We got the iPhone app. It's yeah. all there. Yeah, Listen. Talk to us. You Talk have Chachi. You have That's Chachi. all you need. He's over at Chachi says dot oh, net. Uh, but you get all of us at good times. Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com four one two two zero six WMS zero nine six seven zero for the rest of you with oh. letters. Again, please drop us an email. And we'll let you oh, know how you can get some yeah. free stickers free with, stickers. A with a self address. With a self address. Get a little free stuff, um, brother. 
But we want to see them everywhere, man. Free stickers. Free stickers everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, There we go. We got uh, DJ LB is over at ThoughtfulRiot.com, of course. Bobby F. J-Town. Bobby F. PGH. I don't know why I keep calling you the old one. Uh, Uh, It doesn't matter. I might change it back. Hot Wheels. He's selling the cart. That's not the cart. Get the cripple cart. Buy his cart. Yeah, buy my cart. (laughs) I'll run over your toes if you don't. We also he's done that to me before. You buy the cart, we get a we We get a cart. We also have right there Pittsburgh Comic Con. We got plenty of videos over there on SorgatronMedia.com. Actually, we have one video, and I still have to edit the rest. uh, But we got a little bit there. Look, it's everyone with Timothy Lance. We got uh, a few other interviews. uh, Mike Wood. Um, (laughs) We got some cosplay. We got uh, what are you beans, Russell fan? What? Russell fan wants Sorry. someone to pay his gas bill. Oh, man. Um, how does he know that? Peace out, ninjas! We'll what? see you guys next week. Mayhem Show out. Yeah!